Hi there folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more TC 2019. And as you can see, we are just about to play the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational at TPC Southwind. So as you can see, I've got it set very hard. So everything is very firm, very fast. The fair is very firm, the greens are very firm, the green speed is very fast. Time of day and weather is default. Uh, the wind, wind speed is a medium and it's coming in from the west. So let's get started, shall we? Now this is going to be pretty tough, I think. Everything's set to very far, very fast. It's one of my biggest complaints about the PGA Tour um, career mode in TGC 2019. And it will be something I'll be asking them on Tuesday with this um, preview event that we've got. Uh, there's a, apparently a Q&A afterwards, so it is one of the questions I will be asking. Oh, that's another thing. If you want to know, uh, if you've got any questions you want to ask the devs, just put it in the comment section and we'll see if they'll answer them. So here we go, hole one, 441 yards, par four, stroke index three. I'll tell you what, we'll just have a quick little look around at the course. Just a quick zip around to see what we've got. As you see, got all the, the tour stuff out here. FedEx and Jude Classic. Very nice. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to watch all this there. I've seen little snippets of it, but the uh, the two pro the cover athlete for PGA Tour Two K Twenty One, Justin Thomas, actually won this today. He was ranked third in the world, I think, I believe, when he came into this competition, this tournament, and I think yeah, I read somewhere that he's going to be going back up to the number one spot. This was his third PGA Tour win this season, and 13 altogether, I think, that he's won now. There was something, what was it? I was actually reading. I'll probably read some of it out for you as we're playing. But yeah, we're going to just get started. We're not going to have too much of a look around, to be honest. No doubt you've already seen the course before. But I do like to just have a quick zip around. Oh, that, that wind sounds pretty strong as well. So, let's get to it. We'll get started. As I said, I don't uh, think I'm going to do too well against them. Because on the very hard setting, these um, two pros, they, they usually hit, I don't know, 11, 12, 13 under. And it seems, poof, with the settings, the fairway the green settings, that's pretty tough. Now, this tree... I think this is going to come into play, so I might just aim it a little bit out to the right here and just put a little bit of draw in, I think. That's drawing in pretty nice. That should be okay. Yeah, so Justin Thomas, he finished minus five today on round four. Minus 13 in total. And then you had... Tom Lewis, Phil Mickerson, Daniel Berger, and Brooks Kepka all come in tied second place with minus 10. So yeah, they did pretty well, to be honest. Okay, so what we've got here? 123 yards to the pin. We've got the gap wedge, which gives us 122 yards carry. A little bit of a right to left slope, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to down loft this a touch, just to counteract some of that wind. Oh, my hits are bloody fast. It's just on the edge of the green, so these greens will be a 187 speed. Yep, 187, so pretty slick and very easy to lip out as well. So what have we got? 16 feet, 2 inches up. Oh, that was terrible. A very um, thingy on 187 greens. Really don't like hitting them too hard. Okay, let's see who we've got here. Rory McElroy, Patrick Reed's in there as well. And Danny Lee, Dustin Johnson. K-hole 2, 401 yards, par 4, stroke index 50, 
Dean. Yeah, as I said, it's one of the questions I will be asking the devs on Tuesday. I think uh, the PGA Tour Pro uh, to career mode, we need to have a lot more control over the settings, even the weather as well. <clears throat> For some tournaments, uh, you, you're going to have rain so we can be able to slow the greens up, slow the fairways up a little bit, a bit more um, interaction, a bit more play on the greens and things like that as well, if you know what I mean. Right, what we got? Okay, a bit of wind coming in from the left here. Let's try and sort this swing out as well. I do love these little tee boxes. <laughs> I think they're brilliant. Or should I say little tee pegs. <clears throat> okay, that worked out not too bad actually, even with the fast. But as you see, you've got some, some roll on these um, fairways as well. Okay, so that leaves us 83 yards to the pin. We've got 81 yard carry with the 9 iron. I might just put this down to there. Let's have a look at the green sloping. Left to right. Okay, we get the perfect, perfect. That should run up quite a bit on the green. Oh, that's not bad at all. And you've seen how far that ran on the green there. Yes, yeah, so that was quite nice for uh, Justin Thomas to actually win today. Uh, we've only got, what, four, 19 days left, I think it is, before PGA 2, 2K21 comes out. <coughs> what I'll do, uh, probably during the week as well, is uh, a little recap of all the tour pros and all the courses that we've got as well. Because uh, 2K or HB released little snippets on the YouTube channel, little 15 second segments of all the courses that they've got. So I've got them ready, I'll put them in a video and I'll put the video that I had for all the cover athletes as well, all the cover pros, the ones that are actually going to be in the game. Okay, what we've got here, hole 3, 555 yards, par 5, stroke index 5, again we've got a little bit of wind coming in from the, the left here. Just going to put a tiny touch of grow on. You know what? I don't even think we need that. I'll aim down this left hand section so it should miss them trees anyway. Okay, nice drive. But how much run are we going to get on this fairway? Oh, well, that's not bad at all. That is a nice big drive, that is. <coughs> 335 yards. I'm kind of hoping to show us some of the the designer as well, the course designer on this uh, preview event we have on Tuesday. Okay, 196 to the pin. So I think we can afford to put a little bit of loft on that. We're on a slight downhill slope. Okay, that's a nice strike. That's turning in nice as well. Depends on the distance. Yeah, look at that. I could put quite a bit of loft on that as well. It's that downhill slope that just made that carry so much further. And you're getting one hell of a run on the greens. Okay, we're here for an eagle, but that's pretty tough putt. Right, what have we got? 30 feet, 4 inches down. Tentative. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for in the first hole. I'm always a little bit tentative on 187 greens. It just came in my head there. <laughs> That's got his turn. Nice. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Get in there. Okay, as you see, Rory McIlroy, he's on the 17th, he's minus 9, so that's not too bad actually. That is quite reachable. Usually these guys are hitting 11s, 12s and 13 unders on very hard settings. Okay, hole 4, 197 yards, par 3, stroke index 11, pin is on the centre of the green. Got some wind coming in from the right, 8 miles an hour. 194, 192, 7 yards, 7 feet down, so it's playing 190. 183. 
you know what I think the 183 is probably going to be enough maybe just a tiny touch of down loft because it's going to go on the green it's going to roll and the green is rolling right to left okay I want this to hit to the right of the pin and roll up beautiful oh yes what a shot Nice, that's, that's the kind of putt you want, isn't it? A nice little tap in for a birdie on a par 3 with very firm settings. <clears throat> okay, hole 5, 518 yards, par 5, stroke index 13. No social distancing down there. I mean, as well, HB have set this course up. I mean, I hate that when you see all these just big clumps of spectators. This isn't too bad around the green. Because you do get that anyway. But just big clumps of spectators like that. I mean, why can't you just take the time, spread them out, so they're kind of walking up and down the paths? I mean, just big you're never going to see that. Look, one big clump there, nothing there. One big clump there. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit crap, to be honest, isn't it? <laughs> I hate seeing that, I really do. Okay. Oh, oh, my controller fucked up there. It actually stopped for some reason. I definitely think I need to get a new controller. Okay, that's a nice drive as well. That's going to put us pretty much in the centre of the fairway. 295 yards. A par 5. Oh, I forgot to actually look at this at the start, what par it was. Let me have a, can you have a look at the scorecard. Do, 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 36. This is playing what? Par 71? I'm sure it was a par 70 today. I'm sure they were playing a par. I'm sure, I'm sure it was a par 70 they were playing. Because he hit what? Minus 5. Uh, I think I'm sure his score was a 65. So yeah, it was a par 70. And this is playing par 71. So that's the kind of thing. We need to have a little bit more control over uh, the PGA Tour career mode, I think. Okay, 224. So it's playing 223. 225 carry with a 2 iron. That's going to be too much, I think, even without wind. Because I'll well, tell you what, let's put a little bit of loft on it. I still think this is going to be too much though. Oh, sugar. It hits a slope. That's not too bad. It's par 5. We're just going to be off the edge of the green. <clears throat> so it should leave us a little chip up. Hope they'll get it close and pick up the, the birdie. Come on. Did it drop that down? As long as it gets on the green. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, pick up the berry. What's that? We're five for five? Minus five after five holes, I think. Oh, yes. As I say, yeah, you go, look. Dustin Johnson, he's only on the 15th and he's on minus 11. That's what I was on about. Uh, Rory McIlroy has now finished. He finished at minus 10, but Dustin Johnson, he's going to hit at least minus 13 here. We're very firm, very fast settings. It's really hard to keep up with these guys. And as you know, OPGA courses are not set up the way HB have got these set up. I've always said it. I think it's just lazy the way they've got this set up, to be honest. Okay. Oh, another nice drive. I'm going to have to be careful with my approach shots and my putting. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, and there you go. Look at that. Look how much run you got in the fairway there. Okay, what have we got? 105, six feet up, so it's playing 107. Bit of wind there, seven mile an hour. Put a bit of loft on that, I think.
Come on, get close. That's not too bad. That should be doable for about it. Okay, right. Nice. You get it. I thought that was going to turn a little bit too much there. Okay, it was six under. Hole seven, 473 yards. Path watch, stroke index seven. And that as well. I uh, really do hope they give... When the designers are designing these courses, they've got waypoints. And they need another waypoint, to be honest. Instead of that going through the trees there, you see at the start there. So they could put one waypoint over to the left-hand side of the fairway. And it would start over that way. And then they can change it a little bit. I've always said that. I think they only give them, what, one, two waypoints, I think it is. That's why sometimes on some courses, you'll start off with, like, um, I don't know, a two iron or something like that. That's where the um, designers put their first waypoint. Now, hopefully this does not kick right. Oh, come on, slow up. Oh, that's not bad. Right over the right-hand side of the fairway here. Now, are we going to get over this tree? Yeah, I should think so. Right, well, we've got 164, so it's playing 165. And, oh, I can't really see. There we go. Right. Let's just put a little bit over here. I'm going to put a tiny touch of loft on it as well. Okay, that's not bad. Might be a little bit left of the pin here, though. That's not too bad. I just put a little bit too much loft on it there. Okay. Oh, I think I hit that. Yep. Damn it. I tell as soon as I hit it, 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 it kind of moved pretty quick off the, the, the putt head there as well. Straight away it turned. That should have been a birdie. That should have been a birdie. I just threw that one away. Oh, 874 yards, par 3, stroke index 17. 9 mile an hour wind right in the face. So we've all got 174, so it's playing around about 171. Put some loft on this. That's turning lovely though. Just turning right in towards the pin here. Nope. Oh. Oh, damn it. <clears throat> Is it going to hold? Nope. It's just trickled off. And there you go. That was a bit of loft on that. That hit the middle of the green and it still rolled off. Right. So, just a little, little chip shot here. Okay, come on, pull up. Damn, that's still not giving me, is it? Oh! I thought I hit that too hard. I thought that was going to lip out. So easy to lip out on the 187s. Okay, hold nine. 454 yards, par four, stroke index one. I do like these little things, this little thing here. <clears throat> right. Driver should be fine. I don't think it should will run out to the end of the fairway there. We shall see. That's seven mile an hour wind as well though. Come on, pull up, pull up. Come on. Oh, that's so close. Nice big drive though. 334 yards, left hand side of the fairway. Nice flat line as well. Okay, what have we got? 
125. Let's put a tiny bit of loft on that. Okay, that's looking good. Oh, oh, that's looking very good. Have you pick up another birdie? I actually thought I'd be doing a lot worse than this, to be honest. I haven't played a very fair, very fast sentence for a while. Okay, Dustin Johnson has minus 13. Look at that. That is, oof, that is tough to catch. I don't think I'll catch that. Okay, hole 10, 453 yards, par 4, stroke index 6. Okay, now, oh, does the driver run out here? I think it might now. We'll go with the two wood. Yeah, definitely. With a very firm fairways, I think that's going to run out. So I'm going to hit the two wood up here. Oh, it's so fast. But I did aim it right over to the right hand side of the fairway. Yep, there you go. That's fine. <clears throat> yeah, look how much run getting on that two wood there. The driver will definitely will run out at the back there. 291 yards with that two wood. Okay, 156, so it's plain 158. 160, so I'm gonna go with the nine iron. We're on a slight downhill slope there as well, I think. Yep. So that should get us on the edge of the green, I think. Let's just put a little bit of down loft on it. That's looking not bad. Oh, bloody hell, that was a bit short. I wanted that to bounce, oh, it's coming back as well. I wanted that to bounce right on the edge of the green and it would probably run up if it hit the edge of the green. But that's going to leave us a chip and a putt for a par, I hope. Oh, oh. An ounce more, and we would have had that, I think. <clears throat> okay, hole 11, 161 yards, par 3, stroke index 16. Oh, yeah, the CC Design Competition, the finalists were named today, so I'll try and get another video out for them tomorrow. I was actually going to do the uh, one of the courses today, one of the ones that's actually in the final. Uh, none of us have actually done a video on that yet. Okay, 158, so it's playing around about 155. So let's down off just a touch, I think, yeah. Cat's turning, lovely. Come on, run, run, run. No. Oh. Okay, what we've got? 18 feet, two inches up. It's going to turn when it gets close to the hole. That's going to turn too much, I think. Oh, you son of a... Damn it. I did pull that a little bit to the left as well there, though. You've seen my putt and stroke. Oh, letting his body just slip away here. Yeah. K hole 12, 374 yards, par 4, stroke index 10. K, you straight over there. That'd be a tough shot in real life, just skimming the edge of that wall like that. Right, 74 yards or so one foot up. We've got a 73 yard carry, so a bit of loft. <gasps> it's a slow, which actually adds a distance to it. Okay, come on, slow up. 
that's another thing I'll ask them about as well. When you hit a slow down swing, why are we getting extra distance on shots? There's going to be a lot of questions being asked <laughs> on Tuesday. I read something the other day, actually, that Sean West was saying they don't know if it's going to be a yearly. They would rather go for a production over a two-year, like we've done with uh, TGC2 onto TGC2019. That was a two-year development cycle. So I th hopefully they do it. Hopefully they don't go down the, the EA route and do it a yearly with um, very minimal changes to the game and, and minimal upgrades and things like that. <clears throat> I'm really hoping as well, if it does sell well at 2K, because if you read Twitter, most of the negative posts have been about the graphics. Uh, 2020, and there's still more graphics like this down this Unity Engine. But if you look on YouTube, if you look up Unity Engine on YouTube, some of the stuff they can do on that Unity Engine is amazing. And yet, we still have sort of graphics from this sort of PS2 sort of era, I think, the way it looks at the moment. Maybe PS3. <laughs> so I'm hoping that 2K gives them a, a new engine to, to work on. For the next iteration of the game. Okay, what we've got here? 154, 7 up. That's playing 156. Hmm. Gonna have to put a bit of loft on it. <clears throat> that wind should slow it down a little bit as well, though. Oh, shite. Damn it. It's all going dits up. Doing so well on that front line as well. Okay. Okay, that should pick up the path from there. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Don't be hitting them too hard. Tied sixth place at the moment. <clears throat> On minus eight, five behind. I can't see me catching them though. That's got to be a birdie on each hole. <laughs> okay, 221, 21 feet down. So that is what, oh, 214? 203, down loft. Ah, oh, shh, crap! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh, bloody hell. I thought that was bound for the wall there. My toe was curled. <laughs> that was a little toe curler, that one. I'm surprised it rolled that far, actually. Look at that. Okay. 52 feet, or one inch down. Everything's moving right to left. Gonna have to move this quite a bit, I think. Right, come on, pull up now. Slow up. Could be at the par here. Yeah. Okay, we get the par. I'd be happy if I got another, maybe two birdies out of this. As I said, definitely not going to catch minus 13 on these settings. Okay, hole 15, 394 yards, par 4, stroke index 12. Okay, now that wind should hold that up for us. That should not run out. <clears throat> That'll do lovely. Okay, 93. We've got that window. 108 is way too much. Even with loft, I think. I'm going to have to down loft this quite a bit, I reckon. Ooh. 
Ooh, still went over the top there. Mm -hmm. Thought that was going to be a bit shorter. Oh, that's a tough putt. <clears throat> Oh, yes, get in there. It's another buddy. Okay, hole 16, 521 yards. Par 5, stroke index 14. Big par 5 here. Right, hopefully the wind's going to be with us here. We might, might get on the green for two. Oh, that's not bad, you know. The wind's going with us a little bit. Let's hang down this left-hand edge here. Oh, we hit so fast. That's going to give us a little bit extra distance as well. Right down the centre of the fairway. There's a bit of a slope on the fairway here. Right to the left. Not a bad drive though. 317 yards. That, oh, yes. Right. Going to have to go. Oh, 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 that's too much. Even with loft, I think. If I go with that. Down loft it maybe. See how that works. I can't win to push it in for me. Come on, come on. Oh, oh we just got on. Nice. Right, we're there for the ego. But can we convert it though? That is not bad from there to be honest. Oh, that's a nice little putt as well. Get in, go on, yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Eagle on there, was that 16th? Oh, look at that. Two holes to go, my two behind. Oh, can we do it? Oh, I'll probably screw it up. <laughs> oh, 17, 494 yards, par four stroke index two. Okay, there's a little split in the fairway here. Did you see the sort of little river just going through that? I want to jump up here though. Just give me one second, guys. I want to try and get a half decent screenshot here. Ooh. Let me turn the green grid off. Just so we can get it. I might have a a better one on the 18th, we shall see. But I just wanted to get the, the grand standing that end with the FedEx stuff on it. Right, let's get back to the T and put the hood back on. So you can't do this when you're uh, sort of zipping around at the start because you don't have the crowds and all that up in the grandstands. Matter of fact, I'm sure there's a... Uh... That's not bad, I thought I was going to run out. I'm sure there's a picture actually from HP, one of their official pictures that's actually got the little FedEx vans. I might just use that for my thumbnail. Okay, 158, one foot up. Right, eight irons, so we're going to put quite a bit of loft on this. Can you get this close? Come on. Oh, hold on. A bit of a downhill slope. Where's the 99 going to put us? I might go with the 99 with a bit of down loft, actually. Okay, we've got the perfect, perfect. That's going right for the pin. Depends on distance. Come on. Oh, yes. Go, baby. Go. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. if that went in, it would be down to the 18th. Oh, damn you. That's a couple of birdies we threw away as well. Okay, minus 12. One to go. Can we do it? Ah, there you go. Look at that. Welcome, FedEx, y'all. Let's see how, how, how it looks up the top here. Ah, that's, that could be my screenshot right there, you know, so it's got the, the St. Jude FedEx thing. One more second, guys. Maybe even that there. 
So it's got that FedEx bit there, look at that. And let's have a look over here. Yeah, one of them will do it, I think. All right, let's put the hood back on. Again, guys, yeah, I do apologize about that, but as I said, you can't uh, do that when you're zipping around and having a quick look around. <clears throat> right, just gonna oh, oh, do not hit a fast here, boy. Come on. Oh, a nice peach. Uh oh, do not run out. Shit. Oh, ho, 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 ho. right, we've got to get this close. Come on, we've got to get this. That's not that's a good distance as well. That is a good distance with the pitch, but that should hold up pretty nice. Oh, yes, come on. Come on, wind, turn it in. Oh, baby, come on. I didn't think we'd get anywhere close to minus 13 on these settings. Oh, but I've got to get this. Come on. Yes! Get in there. That's one of the best rounds I've played on. Very firm, very fast uh, in the PGA Tour career mode, to be honest. Look at that. Very nice. Tied for first position, Dustin Johnson. There you go. Rory McIlroy in there as well. So there you go, guys. That was a FedEx St. Jude Classic at TPC Southwind. And that is one of uh, HB's official courses. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed playing that. So don't forget, guys, if you like the content, hit that like button. I'll catch you again next time. Stay safe. And thanks for watching.